Hey guys, how's it going? It's Hobo Eric here in Mommy's Basement eating cookies. Welcome back to the channel. I had to take yesterday off because the weather was just so terrible here. There was rolling power blackouts where I had like no power uh, half the day. It was like over 12 hours I had absolutely no power here. Uh, I tried streaming the other night and the power just went out right in the middle of it. So I'm going to try to get videos out to you today. Um, I'm actually spending my Tuesday night recording these videos. So some of this content might actually be a little old, uh, like a day or two. So just bear with it. Um, hopefully I can get a backlog of con content ready for you guys. Texas has never had weather this cold before. This outrageous. I'm sure if you've looked on your news and stuff like that, it's been below freezing for four days i think the record is like four and a half days so we're, we're already getting past it as far as being below temperature freezings at least in san antonio so it's been pretty chaotic now speaking of history there is a new interesting development at the university of tennessee going on they are going to be using red dead redemption to teach american history at the university of tennessee this come i attention i like red dead redemption that rhymed um it's one of my favorite game franchise I, franchises ever so take a look at this this is interesting could you imagine taking this as your history course so it is uh, very interesting the university of tennessee in knoxville is going to be having a class that is teaching history with red dead so it says as in many occasions some of the most popular video games are based on many historical events or stories Sometimes a game can have enough substance to warrant learning from, and that is exactly what Professor Tor Olson is doing in his new history class at the University of Tennessee titled HIUS383, Red Dead America. So it's really called Red Dead America. Pretty cool. So the class will use both Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2 points to explore the 1899 and 1911 period of American history. The classes will take place in August 2021 and they will most likely be the most popular class on campus. I could definitely imagine that. Uh, you know, a lot of gamers um, definitely do appreciate the Red Dead Redemption series. And if you're going to take a history class, then take one that is based off of. Uh, you know, the whole thematics of a video game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that would be kind of cool. Um, me personally, uh, living in Texas, we have to learn Texas history and American history and world history. They make us learn Texas history in Texas. Um, so there's, there's some stuff that I could probably see being mentioned in the Red Dead Redemption area and stuff uh, that, that I already have met and researched and learned in Texas history classes back in the day so pretty cool if you think about it now who says video games can't be educational right so continuing this on it says in a Twitter feed uh, Olson explains what the classes syllabus will cover as well as that the games and parts are often historically inaccurate but still provide good topical points for discussion including historical issues like racism colonialism greed and the rise of monopolistic capitalism so you can see, here is Tor um, Olson's. I hope it's Tor or maybe Tori. I have no idea. But he says, who says video games don't belong in the classroom? I'm a history professor at University of Tennessee, Knoxville. This fall, I'll be teaching a new course titled HIUS 383, Red Dead America, exploring the historical reality behind Rockstar Games series. What kind of topics will be will be exploring? So very interesting, and this went viral. So you can see, though often historically inaccurate, the game skillfully broach a number of crucial historical issues in the 1899-1911 period, such as the frontier mythology and its long afterlife, the expansion of monopoly. Oh, I clicked it. <laughs> the expansion of monopoly capitalism and how railroads extended corporate power, the astounding inequalities in wealth that became obvious during the Gilded Age. Settler colonialism and the disposition of native peoples, the making of Jim Crow racial violence in the South, the Mexican Revolution and its transnational impacts. So definitely a lot of stuff that I, I can remember learning 
and school as well. Again, Texas history is probably my most favorite subject besides English literature. I'm an English major, even though my grammar is horrible. <laughs> but I was an English major. I used to read a lot of world literature, British literature, um, historical relevant texts and stuff like that. And Texas history, I feel, was a big part of it. So I could imagine that this class would definitely have a fair amount of Texas history information put into it. I personally liked Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, the online, not so much, but Red Dead 2 was still a lot of fun. Now, continuing this, it says the astounding inequalities in wealth that became obvious during the Gilded Age. And you do see some of this presented in the, um, in the game. It's not so much like a huge political commentary. Um, Rockstar usually shies away from stuff like that in their games. But uh, compared to like a GTA or a bully, Red Dead takes itself a bit more serious as far as um, story and plot devices and things like that. It's a way more uh, grounded to reality game than most of Rockstar's games. Now, to finish out this article, it says, uh, Professor Olson explains that his hope is that less orthodox methods of teaching will take hold in the university setting and that this will also help attract students who are not majoring in history to the course. He states that using a game like Red Dead Redemption 2 could be more interesting than using a traditional textbook, as well as the fact that most students are regularly playing video games. And that's not wrong. Um, I know a lot of people that don't like to take history classes. I, I don't know why. It was one of my most favorite subjects. But I could see maybe the correlation or relating it to video games and stuff could make it a little bit more enticing for a student to take. Um, I do think that it is a good idea connecting it, making it a little bit more relatable to students uh, with material, with source material that they're a little bit more familiar with. I'm sure a lot of the gamers that are going to be in University of Tennessee will be uh, interested in taking this course. I would like to see the numbers of how many students enroll in the course. That would be interesting. And it also would be interesting to see how many more universities after this semester adopt this actual course like maybe you know we'll see more red dead america courses at different universities and stuff me i'm already graduated i got my bachelor's magna cum laude um but yeah definitely an interesting read i just wanted to share it with you guys i thought it was pretty cool i didn't see too many people actually talking about it and uh i thought i would like to bring a topic of discussion for you guys to sit down and really talk about. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, guys. Would you like to take this course? Uh, what type of other games would you like to be um, placed into some kind of college course as well? And subscribe if you have not. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.